if Ola could solve it, so can we. So we're supposed to integrate between 0 and pi by 2 the natural log of the cosine of x with respect to x. So how do we do it? First of all, I'll just mark my integral here as an i, just so, you know, I can keep track of where I'm at throughout the evaluation. And now I'd like to leverage the fact that I have a trig function instead of this logarithm. I mean, I you know, leverage the... <laughs> the liability of this entire integral. So I'd like to make myself a U sub that will um, hopefully do um, do some good here. So I'd like to set myself an x equal to pi by 2 minus the u. That will make my dx equal to negative du. And also I'd like to, well, flip the bounds, not flip, switch the bounds. So I'd like to, whenever x is equal to 0, say that u will be equal to, well, pi by 2. Right, yeah, it's, gonna be, it's going to be pi by 2. And whenever x is equal to pi by 2, u will be equal to 0. And so there's my u sub. I'm just going to plug it into integral right now, so I'm gonna get the integral between pi by 2 and a 0 of the natural log and now of the cosine of x becomes pi by 2 minus u du, but negative du, so I just put this negative sign right over here in front of the integral, and now, well, I can use the negative sign to switch the order of bounds, so I'm gonna just have a zero here and pi by two in the upper bound. And also the nice thing is that cosine of negative pi over two minus something is cosine of the something. So I can just rewrite this entire thing as just the sine of u. And so, well, this whole mess here just comes down to the fact that I can write this integral as the integral between zero and pi by two of the natural log of just the sine of u with respect to u. But now a nice thing is that both of those integrals, this guy here and the original problem there, those are both definite integrals. I mean, they give out some kind of numerical value. They don't give, you know, like a class of anti-derivative functions or whatever like this. They will just give me a value. So it does not matter at all what, I, what kind of a variable I'm integrating with respect to here. I mean, as long as I have it, you know, inside of all those functions as a should. <laughs> so I can just, you know, switch this u here back, back again to my x without a single problem. And so what I actually will get from doing that is that pretty interestingly, my integral of ln of cosine of x is the same as, well, the integral between the same bounds of the ln of sine of x. Well, that's nice because now I can just, you know, maybe add those two up together. Maybe I'll get something interesting out of it. So I will just add myself those two integrals. I will get double times the i, the integral, yeah? And I'm gonna get the integral, and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna add up those integrals because, well, I have the same bounds in both of those integrals, zero pi by two, like this, mm, of the natural log of the sine of x plus the natural log of the cosine of x, all with respect to x. But now, there is this property of logarithms that I probably don't really have to tell you about because you're watching a video on integration, for God's sake, but the natural log of a plus the natural log of b is the same as the natural log of the product of a times b, and I can use it to combine those two natural logs of tricks inside of this integral. So what I'm gonna get after doing that is just, well, the integral being zero and pi by two of the natural log of just the sine of x multiplied by the cosine of x dx. And now I would like to use another trick identity, <laughs> the second one in this video, which is that, well, pretty nicely, we've got sine of double x, yes, so the double angle formula, double angle formula, which will tell us that you know, sine of double x is equal to double sine x multiplied by the cosine of x. And luckily we've got, well, sine of x times cosine of x here. I mean, not double that, unfortunately, so we just have to, well, multiply the sine of double x that I want to change it to by a half. Awesome, no problem in doing that. I will just get the integral to zero and a half of a pi of the natural log of the sine of double my x with respect to x knit. Awesome, so how do I proceed, oh sorry, of a half of a half of sine of 2x dx. So how do I proceed further from that? I'd like to, well, once again, leverage the 
property number one, that's gonna be like property number two. So the property number one <laughs> will enable us to just we'll split this integrand here in half. Actually, let's just split this entire integral into two separate ones. So I'm just gonna get the integral between zero and pi by two of the natural log of a half with respect to x, plus the integral between zero and pi by two of the natural log of the sine of double x with respect to x. So we can well, deal with this guy right over here. It's just gonna be natural log of a half, which is negative natural log of two of times x between zero and pi by two. Well, if it's if x is zero, everything's zero. So I can just bring this thing into pi by two, negative pi by two, negative pi by two natural log of two. No problem doing that. But there will be a little bit of mess when dealing with this thing. Well, as you can see, I have, you know, double i equal to something. So if I manage to express this integral here in terms of, well, i, the original integral, I will be able to just, you know, get an equation actually is gonna be probably, I hope so, a linear equation in terms of i, and solving it will give me the value I'm looking for. I mean, the value of this original integral. So maybe, well, can we make this integral, you know, look like it resembles what we had <laughs> originally. Well, we probably can. I mean, let's just make a u sub here of, let's say, u equal double dx. I'm gonna make make my u equal double dx. I'm summoning u again. I'm gonna have the du equal to, well, double the dx. As to the bounds, and unfortunately those are gonna change. So whenever x is equal to zero, I will get u equal to zero as well. I mean, double to zero. And whenever x is equal to pi by two, I will get, x equal to pi and this is my u sub and I will use it right over here on my integral. So let me just maybe rewrite, let me just rewrite, let's say this value here, this negative pi by two natural log of two, so negative pi by two natural log of two. I don't want to, um, you know, like forget to write it down because I'm able of doing that thing. I, 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 I'm quite for, for, forgetful, is that word like this in English? I have no idea, honestly. My camera died there, but surely we're not planning on carrying here, so we can move forward. I mean, we're gonna get in the half of the integral between zero and an entire pi of the natural log of the sine. Yeah, it was sine. Yeah, it was sine of the sine of u of the sine of u with respect to u. Awesome. So, well, now, how to proceed further from here? I mean, we've got. Um, integral that looks quite a bit like the i we had originally, but the problem is that we have, well, significantly other bounds of integration. So how do we get those bounds of integration to be, well, 0 and pi by 2? Well, first of all, we can um, make this integral become two integrals, so I can just write it as negative pi by 2 natural log of 2 right there, plus a half of this entire parenthesis expression off. First of all, the integral between 0 and pi by 2 of the natural log of the sine of u du, which is by the way, by the way, just i. I mean, you know, i was originally defined in terms of x, but it's just a numerical value, don't care about it, so this thing is i. Awesome. And now, plus, a, not a half, uh, an integral between this time pi by 2 and the full pi, so those two intervals and that picture added up will give us the interval between 0 and pi, yeah, of the natural log of the sine of u du. Awesome. Well, we know that this thing right here is numerical, this thing right here is i, we know what it is, but how do we proceed further from this integral that looks quite like an I, like the i, but it honestly just has awfully looking bounds? Well, we can make a u sub here, rather not a u sub, it's gonna be a t sub rather. So I'm gonna have my u be equal to a t plus pi by 2. What it's gonna give me is the u being equal to dt first of all, and then as to the bounds of integration, well, they are gonna get, well, nice. So I will get that whenever u is equal to half of my pi, that will get my t that will make my t equal to zero, and whenever u is equal to the entire pi, t will be brought down to pi by two. I mean, maybe not brought down, I mean, I have no idea where it was before. <laughs> anyway, so this will make this entire thing be equal to negative pi by two, natural log of two, 
plus a half of i. I'm just distributing this one half across all that stuff. And once again, I shouldn't be really saying, telling it to you guys because for the watching that video on integration. <laughs> yeah, and then plus a half of a half of this integral, this integral between zero and pi by two, finally, of the natural log of the sine and u became pi by two plus a t. And finally, we can use the third and last <laughs> trick property um, of this video, which is that sine of 90 plus t is sine of t. And so we can rewrite this guy here as just, not cosine, as just the sine of t right there. And so, well, if it's going to be sine of t, this entire integral just becomes the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of the natural log of the sine of t dt, which is, guess what? i. This is our i. I mean, once again, we don't really care about um, what variable we're integrating with respect to, as long as it just, you know, as its numerical value is equal to i. Awesome. So we get that this entire thing is just going to be equal to negative pi over 2 and log of 2 plus half of an i plus half of an i. That's a whole i. And what was it equal to at the beginning? Double i. And so we have that double i is negative pi by 2 log 2 plus i. And so i is equal to negative pi by 2 natural log of 2 and we get our answer. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next one.